Hi, thanks for visiting Phil Sharp Homes. I'm Phil and this video is about investing in a home versus renting. Uh, I get asked this question all the time and I, I get asked for the pros and cons of both. Um, so I'm going to primarily focus in this video on the pros of buying. Uh, but of course I'm going to have to talk a little bit about renting in order to make my point. Um, the most obvious uh, reason to buy a home and the thing that people think about the most is appreciation. The homes go up in value. Uh, throughout history, uh, homes have consistently gone up in value quite a bit. Um, the norm in the United States is between 4 and 6 percent a year. Uh, we saw some extremes back in 2005 and 2006 where we had homes going up 75 to 100 percent a year. Obviously that wasn't sustainable and that put us into the economic collapse that we've experienced since 2008. Uh, we're now coming out of that pretty strongly on the real estate front, at least here in Western Washington. Um, if you follow uh, the stuff that I write on my blog and our newsletters and that sort of thing, uh, you'll see the market reports uh, throughout the fall and winter and into the winter of 2013, fall of 12, 2000, uh, winter of 2013, that the real estate market has been just almost on fire. I mean, it's, uh, I don't wanna say that we're getting into another bubble or anything crazy like that, but the market has been extremely busy and it's a combination of people relocating to Washington. We, if you follow my newsletters again, you've seen that uh, we've had almost 170,000 California driver's licenses turned in in the, in the state of Washington in the last year. I think that's pretty telling. Um, a lot of people relocating here. A lot of people who have been waiting, timing the market, wanting to trade either up, down, or sideways are now getting into the market. So very busy uh, and I'm kind of getting off subject here a little bit but the the, the market is improving pretty steadily. Uh, so the most obvious thing is appreciation. The not so obvious is other people's money and everybody hears this term but they don't really understand what it means and what it means especially if you're a VA buyer is um, you're gonna get a loan to purchase a house that's appreciating let's say we go back to those national historic uh, levels of four to six percent a year, you're going to get a loan. Uh, your BAH, or if you move away, your renter, your tenant, is going to uh, make those loan payments. While at the same time, uh, your your home you hope is appreciating at four to six percent a year. So you're making money off of other people's money in essence because those payments are covering your interest payment. Um, the uh, the other um, thing to think about with that is even if you're not using a VA loan, you're using a conventional loan, uh, but you want to look at what's my return on my investment going to be. So let's say you're putting down 10% on a $200,000 home. Um, you're putting down $20,000, but that home is appreciating at 6% of 200. So uh, if, you, if you back up the truck and calculate that appreciation just on your cash investment on that $20,000, your appreciation goes from 6% to, if my math is correct, 60. Um, so it's a very, very attractive way to make money. And that's why real estate has been the number one money-making vehicle uh, in history, really, uh, other than you know discovering oil or striking it rich, finding a gold mine or something like that. Um, the last thing is the, the mortgage interest deduction. And um, that's something that a lot of people ask questions about they're not real familiar with. But uh, under current tax law, which we all know is changing, um, mortgage interest is deductible from your taxable income. Um, and that can make a huge difference to people who have to pay into the tax system. Um, if you don't pay in, then, it, then that's something that's not really a, a, a material factor or not really an issue for you. But if you do pay taxes, um, that interest rate deduction can have a big, big impact. Um, so those are the, uh, the three reasons in a nutshell why I think it makes more sense to buy rather than rent. Uh, throughout my life, throughout my military career, my wife and I bought homes at each stateside duty station. Um, we've done quite well with that. Yes, we've uh, seen our net worth go down some in the last few years. Uh, but overall, it, it's treated us very, very well. And uh, I encourage you to look at it the same way. Look at it as, as an investment. Look at it as part of your military career and the fact that you're building towards 
some greater thing down the road. Um, so, I'm Phil Sharp. Thanks again for visiting Phil Sharp Homes. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and I hope you have a great day.